Hello guys, welcome. Today we are going to see problem C in Code Chef Book of 2020. So let's read the problem. So they will give us an integer t and we have to find a string s such that these following conditions are satisfied. s is non-empty and its length does not exceed 7 into t. So it should not exceed 7 into t, the length of s. S contains only lowercase letters. The number of distinct substrings in S minus the number of palindromic substrings in S equals to D. Here, when counting palindromic substrings, a substring that occurs multiple times should be counted multiple times. It can be proved that a solution always exists under the given constraints. So, this is a constructive algorithm. So, let us see how can we do this. So, first let us consider d equals to 1. And I am saying that for d equals to 1, this will be my output. So, how can I say this? So, the substrings possible are a, b, a, a, b, b, a and a, b, a. So, the distinct substrings are a, B, A, B, B, A and A, B, A. So, the number of distinct substrings are 5. And let us see palindromic strings. The palindromic strings are A, 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 B, A, B. Here we can repeat the palindromes. So, the number of palindromes are 4. So, they have asked us the difference. So, it will be 5 minus 4 which is 1 which is D. So we can say that our answer is correct. And also they have mentioned that all the letters should be lowercase as lowercase and the length should not exceed 7 into d. Here 7 into d means 7. The length of our string is less than 7 into d. Now let us consider for the next case. Let us look at this example. Let the string be a a b a a. So, the substrings possible are here. Here, ds means distinct string and p means palindrome. So, the number of distinct substrings for this case is 11 and the number of palindromic strings are 9. Pause this video and check whether the number of distinct substrings are 11 or not and also for palindromes. So, the difference is 2. So, we can say that for this example, d equals to 2. So, like this, we can construct the strings. If the given d equals to 4, first we have to print 4 a's and then 1 b and then 4 a's. So, this is the observation. So, let us see how to code this. I am doing it in Java. So first, I have scanned the value of d, and so, so now I have to scan the value of d. So whenever we are doing this, we are getting the length of 2 into d plus 1. Because 2 is this side and 2 is this side. Here d is 2. So we are adding 2 a's. So, total it will be 2 into d and an extra b. So, it will be 2d plus 1. So, int n equals to 2 into d plus 1. It means the length of our final string will be n. Now, we have to print this. Now let us construct this string. So if i equals to d, then we can print b. It will occur only for one case when i equals to d. B. Else we can print a. 
so all the characters uh, left of d will be d is and all the characters of the right of d will be d is and then we have to print the next line so let us check for sample input okay let us take this to file name so we have to get output as first five is then b and then five is next for the next case we have to get nine is nine is b and then nine is so this is the algorithm so let us submit So the answer is correct. So thank you guys for watching.